Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tyler from Nelly Security, and in today's video, we're going to talk about how to get the NSC DB2 video doorbell on your H series NVR. What you're going to need is the computer program batch configuration, which is free. You can download it from our website, and I will leave the links down in the description below. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, here we are in batch configuration. Now this is a really handy tool for looking up your H-Series camera's IP address for performing various maintenance tasks on your cameras. Uh, but today we're gonna be using it for two purposes, and that is one, we need to find out the IP address of our doorbell, and two, we need to make sure that our doorbell's firmware is up to date. First step, download this from our website. It's a free program. Run this as an administrator. That's an important step, uh, one that I forget often and end up getting frustrated. But run this as an administrator, otherwise it's not gonna have access to your network. And what we see here is the program has two parts. At this top part, it shows all of the devices that we have added to our configuration tool, which right now we can see that that's empty. Down here on the bottom is the number of each series devices found on our network. So ordinarily what we would do to add this to our uh, device configuration tool, let's say we were adding this camera right here, it'd be super simple. We just click this checkbox, we would click add, we would type in our password, which by default is 1234567A, and boom, there it is, all ready here in our list of devices. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. That's not how we do it from the doorbell. We are gonna have to add this manually. So to do that, uh, first make note of this IP address for the doorbell. Um, the way you find your doorbell is, it would show up here as NDB313W. Uh, you can tell that it's the doorbell because DB stands for doorbell. And our IP address is 192.168.1.36. So come up here to the top where it says add, click that and we're going to type that IP address into this text box, uh, 192.168.136. Port is 8000, username is admin and the password is going to be your doorbell's uh, verification code, which in this instance is AC, G W U D. The way you find that out is uh, it's here printed on the back of your doorbell and it's also printed on the front of your quick start guide if you have that handy. So we're gonna click okay and boom, there we go. This is now appearing in our list of devices. Now we want to check which firmware version is currently running on our doorbell. To do that, we're gonna click this gear icon to open the settings menu and we now have access to all of these settings right here from the batch configuration tool. And from the very first menu, device information, we can see the firmware version is version 5.2.4. Now we're just gonna come over here to nelliessecurity.com and go to our doorbell page. Scroll down to the very bottom and we are going to click on downloads. We can see that the most recent firmware is version 5.2.4 and the build date was March 21st, 2020. And we can see here our build date is 2020, March 21st. So we do have the most recent firmware installed on this doorbell. If the firmware version there is uh, earlier than our most recent firmware, what you would need to do is come here to system maintenance. And here on our website, you can just click on that most recent firmware to download it. And uh, here, let's show it in the folder. We can go ahead and extract that and open up that folder. Here is our firmware. So from batch configuration, we can uh, upgrade a file, select the file by clicking these three dots here, navigate to the folder where this is saved, and you would just open that file, click upgrade, It'll do its thing, it'll restart, and then you are ready to go. If your firmware is up to date, you don't really need to do anything, just take note of that IP address, which again, in this instance, is 192.168.136. We're done with batch configuration tools, so we can go ahead and exit this. Now, let's take a look at our NVR, which I have set up back here. All right, and now we've got our NVR pulled up here. This is the NSN 608 4K8P, our eight channel, H series NVR. And it's really simple to get this activated on our NVR. We're just gonna come in here to the menu. We're gonna click on camera. We're gonna come here to whatever channel we want to add this to. Right now these are all empty because this NVR isn't cur currently connected to anything. Uh, but you'll click this modify button here and change this from plug and play to manual. 
Then we'll just simply put in that IP address that we pulled from the batch configuration tool, 192.168.136. Oops, 192.168.136. We will leave everything else the same. Username is admin and the password is going to be that six digit verification code, which again is found here on the back of your doorbell or uh, potentially if you still have your quick start guide, it's on the front of your quick start guide as well. So we'll type A D G W U D, click enter and boom, we are good to go. So I'll go ahead and click okay. And whoa, almost instantly that popped up with our doorbell. And as we come back here to our live view, um, looks like right here, this channel, we have our NSC DB2 video doorbell pulled up here on our H-Series NVR. And we can record this just like any other camera, either with motion detection, activation, or we can just record continuously to our hard drive. The NSC DB2 is an excellent video doorbell. Check it out, links in the description. Thanks so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us across social media, so you never miss another security video. Have a great week.